Hello guys, how is everyone out there? My name is Sarbu Yukana, I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. If this is your first time in my YouTube channel, welcome. I love to share about life reality in Canada, jobs, immigration, and I love to share family vlogs, okay? So if you are one of the aspirant immigrants who wants to come here in Canada, this video is for you guys. It's reasons why your visa visa was been denied, okay? So one of my subscribers, her, um, her name is Sophia Andres. Uh, she said, uh, Miss Sarah, my application for visit visa was been denied last month. They said my assets are not sufficient. Okay, that's from the immigration. I will stay in my friend's house. Can he write a letter of invitation and affidavit of support for me? Do I really need to buy a plane ticket so my application will be approved? Okay, disclaimer. I'm not an immigration consultant here. This video is for informational purposes only and it's not intended as professional advice. So if you want more information about visit visa here in Canada, please contact professional people who can give you more uh, detailed information about visit visa here in Canada. Okay, so I don't belong to any immigration. I want to share based on my own experience. First of all, to come here in Canada as visit visa is one way and the easy way pathway to become a permanent resident okay because when you come to canada by chance you find an employer who can give you a job then you can apply the employer is going to apply for a labor market impact assessment and the employer will going to hire you and immigration is going to give you a work permit to stay here in canada so you can convert your visit visa into a work permit visa and that is the possibility okay but as i said um you need to ask uh, advice from an immigration lawyer or an immigration consultant who can help you for the processing for that. According to um, Sophia, if they said that your assets are not sufficient, uh, you guys have to know that when you are applying to come here in Canada as a visitor visa, you cannot just say like, you know what, I want to go and visit Canada. You know, if you want to come visit Canada, you have to say something you cannot just say i want to go and visit my friend who is in canada or i want to go and visit my mom and dad who is in canada you need to do some explanation why you want to come visit canada let's say you want to come and visit for tourism purposes you want to visit the beautiful sceneries of alberta like you know if you are in alberta you want to come and visit my province here in alberta we have a beautiful sceneries you have to say something okay not just only one word like i want to come and visit and that's all okay one thing more guys if you want to come here in canada money is very very important if you are applying for a visit visa okay because the immigration uh, immigration officer is going to check your uh, financial status. They will see if you can able to uh, support yourself while visiting Canada. Let's say you're not going to stay in your friend's house. You're going to stay in a hotel. You have to prove to the immigration officer that you have enough money to pay your hotel uh, your food and your transportation. I met lots of people here in Calgary and they came here and um, they are visiting their relatives here but they have the history of traveling different countries like they are from they work in different countries they went to travel in uh, New Zealand Australia United States that's a plus factor for them like why immigration why Canadian immigration approved them why they are here in Canada you know because sometimes when I met people sometimes I have to ask them like why you are here in Canada are you a visitor visa and they share like you know because we come to visit our family and and at the same time they want to look for a jobs here okay so I met one guy here and he said that he paid five thousand Canadian dollar for people like an agent for them to give a job here in Canada and they are processing their LMIA so well good for them five thousand Canadian dollar is a lot of money guys some immigration consultant they're asking more money these people sometimes they're taking advantage okay you want to stay in canada so i you have to pay me eight thousand or ten thousand and i will give you a job like something like that but sometimes it's too much okay so i'm just focusing for sophia questions okay will going to stay in my friend's house can he write a letter of invitation and affidavit of support for me okay for me in my own opinion guys like uh, when I invite my parents to come here in Canada, I have to provide my information, okay? 
So if you're going to stay in your friend's house, your friend who is going to make an invitation for you too, your friend has to provide the tax assessment, letter of employment if he or she is working here in Canada. Uh, she need to make a detailed in her letter of invitation like she have her own house, uh, vehicles to drive you around when you are in Canada and um, like uh, for me I attach my bank statement and my bank statement has to be stamped by the bank something like to show that you have money while inviting this person to come and live in your house at least you have some money right so your friend has to do that hey and uh, the letter of invitation has to be a notary by a lawyer otherwise if you're going to stay in the hotel and you're going to make a letter to the immigration like you know you are coming to canada to visit for tourism purposes so sophia also asking do i really need to buy a plane ticket so my application will be approved okay in my own experience when i bring my mom and dad here in canada i bought them, them a return ticket okay um like a six months when I invite my parents in my invitation I want my parents to be here like uh, five months I bought their return ticket I I bought it like open for good for one year so just in co just in case if I'm going to do the extension then at least they have a like a return ticket when they go back to Philippines so you need to buy your own return ticket guys okay in that way like you can show to the immigration like you only coming here for visit and you have to prove to the immigration that you are going back to your country. There's a strong ties in your country that you're not going to stay here in Canada. Something like that, you know. But there's no guarantee for that, I tell you. There's no guarantee. It's because you buy a return ticket, the immigration will approve you. Because uh, one reason, if you cannot convince the immigration officer who going to uh, review your application, for your visit visa if they are not satisfied that you are going back to your country they will deny your application anyway okay and just in case you applied and you will be denied you need to reapply again okay and if you're going to reapply you have to make it sure that your application is not the same as before you have to do some changes okay and uh yeah because sometimes they will deny it because uh they said like well I'm not convinced that this person is going back to their country anyway because uh, this person is coming in Canada to look for a job okay so that's why you have to you know it's up to you how to make the immigration believe that you're coming to Canada to visit my beautiful country and you have to go back to your country after if you are employed in your home country and you want to come visit Canada you need to uh, prove the, your letter of employment the proof where that money come from like you come to visit Canada so you need to attach in your application the proof of your employment and where that money come from well if you are working then uh, you have to prove your statement of your your bank statement like you have a salary monthly receive money you know so then at least you can convince the immigration officer that yeah you are working in your country and that is one of the assets that you are coming to Canada and of course you are employed in your own country that you are going back to your country after your visit here in Canada. If you are unemployed in your country, you have no no travel history even in like if you are in Philippines, you have no travel history in different Asia like the neighborhood Asian countries like Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, Korea. Thailand if you don't have those um, travel history and suddenly you want to come and visit it doesn't matter you have family here your mom and dad your brother and sister in Canada but you don't have any history of travel history unless if you have a good reasons why you want to come and visit Canada oh you know what guys I give you some uh, one of the one of my neighborhood he never have a travel history but because uh, it so happened his sister is very very sick uh, the immigration uh, approved him to come over to at least help the sister to take care of the sister and yeah those are the possibility that they will approve you too it's a case-to-case -case basis so if you don't have any travel history guys and you are unemployed in your country you better not to come and visit Canada don't bother to apply and come visit Canada thank you so much Sophia Andres for your questions and uh, I hope you I answer some of your questions okay thank you and God bless everyone bye 
Aiko, yeah, are you helping your dad? Good job. <laughs>